हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेविस स्टेयरिंग एयर मैकेनिज्म एंड द एक्रमाइन स्टेयरिंग एयर मैकेनिज्म एंड डिराइव द रिलेशन एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो I derived this relation that is cot phi minus cot theta equal to c by b, and this was the fundamental equation for correct steering. So if you have not watched my this previous video, you can click on the top right corner i appearing on your screen right now to watch that video, because this relation will be used in Davis steering gear mechanism. So you need to understand how this relation is derived. So I just suggest you first watch this video, and then. you would continue watching the davis steering gear mechanism and the ackermann steering gear mechanism now let us start with the davis steering gear mechanism now davis was a scientist who gave his theory for the steering gear mechanism and in this we are considering these distances in the derivation a b d and c where a is vertical distance between the two links a b and c d b is the wheel base d is the horizontal distance c is the distance between the pivot a and b let me show you the diagram now here c is the distance and uh, this distance from here to here b is the wheel base from that is the span of the vehicle from here to here that is here to here and a a is the distance from the front axle up to the link up to the slider links the vertical distance that is taken as a so a b c and this distance from the pivot point up to the slider mechanism this distance this vertical distance it is taken as d kept small d so a b c and d and last distance comes x now x it is the displacement from the mean position that is this distance and this distance that is the initial position was this the initial position of the slider was this and the final position of the slider is this so when it is taking left turn so initial position was here and it has moved from this was position d now it has moved d dash so this distance that is the displacement of the slider link from the initial to final position it is taken as x similarly the initial position was here now final position is here it was c this point is c this point is c dash so the the displacement it is assume to be constant equal to x and there are two there are three angles one is theta that is formed between the ray of projection of the back axle where the point i meet when we extend the link of b and the back axle where they meet the angle that is made from the horizontal to this ray it is taken as theta for this link and phi for this link and two more angles alpha and alpha because they will be same because initially d point and c point they make an angle alpha with the vertical so this complete angle is alpha and this complete angle is alpha now this angle will be theta this is small angle this angle will be theta from the geometry i will not uh, derive that that how this is theta and how this is phi because the video will be much longer than so this angle is theta and this angle is phi so this complete angle will be theta plus sorry phi plus alpha and this angle will be alpha minus theta so these are the basic Now in Davis steering mechanism, we have a slider mechanism in the steering column. 
we have the slider links whereas in Ackerman we only have the pivot links or the joint links now let's start with the derivation now from the triangle a a dash c dash you can see from the triangle a a dash c dash that is a a dash and c dash this triangle you can see that tan of phi plus alpha now this complete angle is phi plus alpha this was phi this was alpha so complete is phi plus alpha so tan phi plus alpha is perpendicular that is a dash c dash upon base that is a dash a so that comes out to be d plus x upon a because this distance from a dash to c it is d and from c to c dash it is x so d plus x d plus x upon the base that is this distance it is equal to a so a so equal to tan phi plus alpha tan of alpha plus phi or phi plus alpha it is one and the same thing so this is the first relation now from the triangle a a dash c earlier it was a a dash c dash now taking the triangle a a dash c we see that tan alpha it is equal to d upon a that is perpendicular upon base a tan alpha equal to d upon a this is second relation now from triangle b b dash d dash that is b b dash d dash this this triangle we are seeing so i told you this complete angle it is alpha this angle it is phi sorry this angle it is theta so this angle will be this angle will be theta minus sorry alpha minus theta let me explain once more this complete angle it is alpha this angle is theta so this angle will be alpha minus theta so we are again taking tan of alpha minus theta equal to b dash d dash upon b b dash so it will be this distance we are taking this distance so this distance will be d minus x that is this complete distance minus this distance it will be given giving this distance so d minus x upon the base a this is third relation so we have uh, seen throughout three relations one is tan alpha plus phi one is tan alpha one is tan alpha minus theta now we know that tan of alpha plus phi it is equal to tan alpha plus tan phi upon 1 minus tan alpha tan phi because this is a trigonometric relation now we can substitute the value here so tan alpha plus phi we have found out from the first relation it is d plus x upon a it is equal to tan alpha plus tan phi upon 1 minus tan alpha tan phi now tan alpha we have found from the second relation it is d by a so you substitute here d by a and keeping tan phi as it is now cross multiplying we get cross multiplying and we solve for tan phi so tan phi comes out to be ax upon a square plus b square plus dx similarly from tan alpha minus theta it, it is equal to d minus x upon a we will again use this relation this complete procedure and we will solve for tan theta because we don't know tan phi and tan theta separately so we are using trigonometric relation that is tan of x plus y equal to tan x plus tan y upon 1 minus tan x tan y from there we are getting we know two unknowns we know two known values and we only know, don't know one value so we are finding that value here we are finding tan phi and here we are finding tan theta so the relations 4 and 5 are tan phi is equal to ax upon a square plus d square plus dx and tan theta is equal to ax upon a square plus d square minus dx now we are using these two relations further now in my previous video I had derived that the fundamental equation for correct steering is cos cot phi minus cot theta equal to c by v this I had derived in my previous video now 
we would be using this relation to prove this. Now we can write cot phi equal to 1 upon 10 phi and cot theta equal to 1 upon 10 theta. So 1 upon 10 phi minus 1 upon 10 theta equal to c by b. Now we know 10 phi, we know 10 theta. Just we have to substitute here. So you substitute here. And when we substitute and when we further solve, what we get? a square plus d square plus dx upon ax minus a square plus d square minus dx upon a is equal to c by b. And when we solve, we so a square and a square, d square and d square will get cancelled. And dx plus dx will be 2dx upon ax equal to c by b. So 2dx upon ax is equal to c by b. Again, xx gets cancelled and we get 2d upon a equal to c by b. So 2d upon a equal to c by b. Now from that from our second relation we know that tan alpha equal to d by a. So we can substitute the value of d by a. We can substitute the value of d by a as tan alpha. So 2 tan alpha equal to c by b or tan alpha equal to c upon 2b. So for the for designing of the gear mechanism for designing the steering mechanism according to Davis steering gear mechanism we have to use this relation that is tan alpha equal to c by 2b where we know c value where we know b value value so we are finding the alpha that is the inclination of the link with the vertical that is this value here it was the link here it is the slider so we are finding the optimum value of alpha that needs to be uh, found from the desired values of c and b because when c and b will change so alpha will also change so from this relation we are finding the alpha value for which the vehicle will not skid or vehicle will not roll over and the tires will stay on the ground and we will achieve proper steering proper turning so this was the davis steering gear mechanism now let's move on to ackerman steering gear mechanism now let's move on to ackerman steering gear mechanism the ackerman steering gear mechanism it is quite simpler as compared to davis steering gear mechanism and in the differences pr prominent differences between the two are that in ackerman steering gear mechanism the whole mechanism it is at the back side of the front axle here you can see the whole mechanism is at the back side whereas in uh, davis and J davis mechanism let me show you the figure you can see that the whole mechanism was in the front of the front axle this is the front axle and it was in the front of the front axle whereas in ackerman it is at the back side of the front axle Alright, second difference is that the Ackerman steering gear mechanism it consists only of turning pairs. Here you can see there are only turning pairs that is one is this turning pair, one is this turning pair, this turning pair, this turning pair, and there are no sliding members. Whereas in Davis mechanism there was sliding members, and you know from the fundamental principles of theory of machines or kinetics of machines that sliding members they have more friction and more losses so they need periodic maintenance also so we know that turning pairs they are far superior than sliding pairs now so this mechanism Ackerman steering gear mechanism it is superior than Davis steering gear mechanism and you can see that it has four bar four chain mechanism four bar link mechanism that is A B C D and uh, the angles they corresponding to the position it changes from C to C dash when we take a left turn suppose so BC becomes BC dash and AD becomes AD dash corresponding the angle this was angle theta so this also turns theta and this angle was phi so this also turns phi so the angle between BC and BC dash this is again theta 
and angle between AD and AD dash this is again phi now Ackerman steering gear mechanism it can be uh, it consists of hinge joints or turning pairs so it requires less periodic maintenance and it is cheaper also because there are less moving parts less intricates and uh, the components are of lesser cost as compared to Davis steering gear mechanism so we prefer in our day to day vehicles Ackerman steering gear mechanism so it is widely used in all the commercial vehicles whether they are car, jeep or any vehicle and Davis steering gear mechanism it is just for uh, fundamental knowledge the derivation it is quietly uh, popular and it is asked in various exams so I have told you the derivation whereas Ackerman steering gear mechanism it does not have any derivation and it is not asked just you, sh you should know that the differences between the Ackerman and steering mechanism and Davis steering gear mechanism what are the prominent differences so I have told you the first is that the whole mechanism it is at the front in Davis and here it is at the back of the front axle in Ackerman and in Davis they have the sliding members and in Ackerman they have only the turning pairs in Davis there are more frictional losses less power transfer and uh, in Ackerman we have only turning pairs so no frictional losses and no periodic maintenance required in Davis it, the mechanism it, it is quite costlier because of use of more parts more number of parts and links whereas Ackerman because it is simple mechanism the running cost and the overall cost is less so I hope you have understood what is the difference between the two and if you found the video helpful please press the like button please share my video on social media and please subscribe if you have already not subscribed and please, please check the description once for more of my videos and social media links and please share this video i will be seeing you in the next video till then take care bye bye